Speaking of violent video games and uh, blowing people up, it's a very good topic uh, to segue into the fact that YouTube is changing how it moderates video game content. Oh no, big surprise. Uh, I'm sure if none of you guys have heard about it by now, uh, then, then you don't care. Then you don't care or you uh, don't watch YouTube because about every single content creator and their family has talked about the fact that YouTube and Google got absolutely owned by COPPA, um, which is a protection act uh, for online, for, for children's uh, viewing of online content and what kind of ads are being shown to them. Um, let's see, it's a Children's Online Privacy and Protection Act. Okay. And uh, they got a, a Google and YouTube got a huge fine and uh, they are changing some of their settings. So now when you upload a video, uh, you have to mark if it is uh, an, like an adult video or for children. And if you do, people were concerned if you mark that it's for children, uh, that you can't get ads on your videos, therefore no revenue. And a lot of these people just the make kids content are going to go away. I personally don't really care about that. And then on the flip side of that, if you market non-children or family-oriented content, uh, you could potentially get a yellow icon, which back when I was doing YouTube in 2013, this was one of the main reasons I initially left YouTube is because when the adpocalypse happened, all of my content um, had limited ads being ran on it, which is what the yellow icon does. And it's a significant difference. You go from uh, like literally you make cents per view, like one or two cents per view when you have a yellow icon. Uh, so there's, you know, this is basically, it was the equivalent of like Adpocalypse 2.0 happening on YouTube after this whole COPPA, throwing down the hammer on YouTube and Google. And then YouTube basically just threw the responsibility back on its content creators and said, hey, uh, why don't you get a lawyer to consult with to see how you should be... Um, Handling your channel. Handling your channel and how you should be labeling your videos because they were threatening to throw around like a, the COPPA and was looking at throwing around like a $43,000 fine per video that violated, um, that violated it, uh, children's privacy. So mm -hmm. that's huge, right? Who the heck is going to want to create uh, content? YouTube creators are already having like problems with, um, uh, you like uh, copyright. Oh yeah, and copyright infringement. Copyright and getting, systems and moving around that, and so now on top of that, now they YouTube's like, okay, well, all these kids, all these content creators that are making uh, children videos. Uh, you can't now. You have copyright. You have to worry about. Oh, by the way, instead of us worrying about it, we're just going to throw this um, this problem that we have with the um, the moderating and the violent video game and the content right we're gonna throw that on you to also worry about good luck figuring yeah that good, out. good luck but on december 2nd and it really isn't a surprise to me youtube realized that there are companies who want to advertise to more mature audiences they exist weird what <laughs> strange people who make r-rated movies or adult products they want their ads shown on more mature content. Uh, so they're changing some of how they moderate uh, video game violence specifically, which affects me, like I said. GTA was my, and still is, uh, the biggest series I created, GTA 5 Online. And it was an incredibly violent video game, and they considered it violent content. And I never understood that. Now, what YouTube is saying is that they're no longer going to restrict violent video game content starting today, which was December 2nd, as of December 2nd, um, in a Google support post. They said, we know there's a difference between real world violence and scripted or simulated violence, such as what you see in movies and TV shows or video games. So we want to make sure we're enforcing our violent or graphic content policies consistently. So I'm I'm looking to see if they update their policy um, to align with this, and I would like I would like it to come back to being a little bit more open. Really, what I feel like if YouTube or anybody at YouTube is listening to this or Google, uh, I am a parent, and one of the things I will say is that my children primarily watch. Um, 
the main YouTube instead of the kids. YouTube really doesn't promote YouTube kids at all. There's there's no like there is no ads for YouTube kids. There's no nothing. It's like it doesn't exist. So for one, if you want people using your YouTube kids app and website, you need to promote it. Yes. The sheer lack of promotion and awareness around it, even though it's been out for so long, shows me or at least uh, the general audience as parents that you guys didn't really want people, children, using that app. You wanted them to use the main site. If you didn't, you would have put a bigger emphasis on that. I the know, other thing is... children's YouTube app? Yeah. The, the, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, That's it's, how bad that was. It's a specific uh, YouTube Kids. It's YouTube Kids. Did not know that existed. Exactly. My point, exactly. And you're on YouTube how often? Pretty often. Yeah. Probably every day. Daily? Yeah, m multiple times a day? Yep, on my phone, on my... No idea that it existed. On my PS4, on my And you you are PC. not... Yeah, and you are not... I mean, you, you are technologically savvy. Yeah, I you, did, you, not, you, did not it, know there was a computer. Right, so do you hear that, Google, YouTube? With how much I am on the internet alone, I should have heard about it by now. Yeah, there, there was um, an article that the president of YouTube uh, was quoted in saying that her own kids don't use the app. <laughs> What? Then why? Uh, it just job. doesn't make any sense. The other thing I want to throw out there is, um, A, I'm happy. I'm so sick as a parent of listening to these ridiculous, uh, these ridiculous slime videos and these fake YouTube families like the Ye Yeagers or Yeagers that my kids are obsessed with. It's all fake. It is just... It's like turns your kids into zombie, brainless stupidity material. I really hope that they go away now that Coppa put the hammer down. And channels like Logan Paul and uh, oh, there was another one that were promoting like Logan Paul just basically flat out so, like sold his merch to kids to the point that he was saying, you're not cool in school unless you own some of my merch. And you know, as a kid, uh, that's pretty important. You want to feel yeah. like you're a part of the crowd. And he directly says it in numerous videos. You know, I, I want to see the hammer come down on those kind of people. I want to, I want to see the hammer come down on the right people. I want to see the type of content uh, that is literally addicting my children to the platform to go away. And I did find out, YouTube, that you cannot block a channel on YouTube. I was going to go block the Jaegers. So my kids, if they searched it, couldn't access their channel. Yeah. Doesn't exist. The only place it exists is on YouTube Kids. I can't believe it. The only thing that you can block on YouTube. And here, I'll... Uh, so you can only block channels on YouTube Kids that kids aren't even using. Right. <laughs> so if I go to YouTube and uh, we'll go to... The this is this is one of the stupid YouTube families, right? Shot of the Jaegers. I'm calling them out. 4.11 million subscribers. My kids watch this crap non-stop. Um, and it's oh, you literal play a video. Yeah, it's literal, uh, it's literal garbage. So we'll just I'll give them a view. Secret message from the doll maker. Uh, my kids are obsessed with this crap. And this is a series that they're doing about a doll that's possessed and haunts their family. And my daughter thinks it's real, you know? And so I was like, all right, how do I, how do I block these guys? Um, well, simply you can't. Um, you could come up. There is a way to, I think there is a block option, but the only thing that it does is it blocks them from being able to message you on your own videos and profile. That's all the blocking does. Uh, report. That's an option. Yeah. <laughs> report them. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not actually report them, but go into report real quick. You want to see the options? Yeah. I just want to see if there is. So when you block Okay, blo user, block user. That's it. Prevent them from commenting on videos you've uploaded. YouTube. Why? Why'd you Why? create a whole new platform when you could have just implemented something as easy as this? Yes, I don't want to go through and block 
every single one I don't want my kids to watch. But this also gives me a good avenue to be like, okay, well, here's this. You can, you can at least can't you can find the ones that your kids are actively watching that aren't good and block those. Right. And again, the main issue is that nobody really knows that YouTube kids exist. Even if I go, let's see, let's see what it takes to actually find it. So we're on the home page. Here's more from YouTube over here on the left hand side. Premium YouTube movies, shows, gaming, not kids. Live. Where's their kids? Hmm? Where is it, YouTube? Let's go here. Um, nope, that just minimizes things. Uh, so then let's do a search. Oh, wow. You have to do a completely separate search for YouTube kids. Watch it on the web, it says here. Drag oh, yeah, this. I can't see that. Yeah, I'm going to drag it down so you guys can see it. Look right here on the site. Uh, watch it on uh, your tablet, your Android device, or on the web. Why is it so hard to find this? I don't understand. It's also a very poor homepage. Very, it is. It's a very, it, it, it doesn't even resemble what I feel like. Now look, it doesn't even bring up an option to search. Like, okay, let's go <laughs> watch on web. Okay. I'm a parent. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna take you through setting all that up. So this is dumb. <laughs> That's all I have to say. This is stupid. Seriously. I want YouTube kids for my children. How long has YouTube kids been out? Oh, uh, let, let me let me see if I can find out. YouTube because kids. If it's new, then I can understand how I because I'm online quite a bit. Oh, uh, it, it released February 23rd of 2015. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's been out that long. Oh, that's hilarious. I guarantee you the majority of users on YouTube don't know that this even exists. Uh, for example, on Netflix, it's so easy look, to right find here. Netflix look, for kids. Look, see, this whole problem. All right, I'm going to pull this up. Look, so I'm on Wikipedia right now, okay? I want to point out how incredibly important this is. Uh, can I... So COPPA's big deal was that ads were being shown to users and information was being collected yeah. on individuals under the age of 13. YouTube Kids was created uh, with curated selections of content, parental controls, and filtering videos deemed inappropriate for viewing by kids 12 and under. This was your ticket not to be fined millions of dollars. This was your ticket to not having these harsh penalties coming down on all your content creators. And now everybody else is in an uproar and is going to be affected by it because you simply didn't care enough to let people know that this exists. And you allowed people like Logan Paul, Shot of the Jaegers, and all these other stupid YouTube channels that are out there to... Hook kids in and collect information.